Hello everyone, today we are here to demonstrate a project assigned to us by iNeuron under their internship. We are a team of three members, Ritik Ratnavat, I Vidan Deshmukh and Uttar Shole. The main aim of our project is to analyze the dataset that contains information about restaurants and its ratings. So we have to predict rating of a restaurant on the basis of various factors. So now let us have a look at the demo. So this is the home page. Here we have links to the predictor page and about us page. And here is the let's go button. On clicking this button, user is directed to the predictor page. So this is the predictor page. Here user needs to enter the information and the rating is predicted here. So let us enter some information. Let's take restaurant type as confectionery. We can take cuisine as Burmese. On order facility as yes book table facility as no we can select any location let's take Hosser road cost for two people we can take let's take 302 and number of folds we can take 1500 we click on submit button and the expected rating is here which is 4.2 out of 5 now by clicking on about us page you can view the information of our developers we have Ritik Ratnavat, Vidan Deshmukh and Uttar Shivale and here are the links for their LinkedIn profiles. That's all for the demo, thank you. We will import libraries such as Lumpy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaboard. We will load the dataset, then we will check the size of the dataset. There are 51,717 rows and 17 columns in our dataset. We'll check for the columns in the dataset. We'll rename a few columns. Now we'll perform data cleaning, wherein we will drop the irrelevant column, check and handle the data types. We will rate the column. We'll see for the outliers and handle them. We will convert the string value to integer values. Here we will also check for null values and handle those null values. Now we come to data visualization. Here we will perform, take different parameters and we will try to gain some useful insight from the, them about our data. Now as you can see there is number of order versus restaurant. So for this we will perform, we will plot a bar graph and as you can see from the bar graph clearly that Cafe Coffee Day and Oniesta have more number of order as compared to other restaurant. Now we will check for online order facility and for this we will make a count plot where you can see that 4,397 restaurant diners have online order facility which is less than 50% restaurant in the whole city. Now similarly we will make few count plots, bar graphs and charts to see other information in our data set. Now we will encode columns. Here we will convert the categorical value into numerical value. Now we come to feature selection. In feature selection, we will keep the important features. We will see what are the important features which are affecting our data set. And we will also see that the irrelevant columns dropped in this. Now we will import ML model. The three models which we will use check our linear regression, random forest and decision tree. Here we will use data with location and data with area. As data with location and data with area have a few similar values. So we will
model is 91%. Now we'll save our model using Pickle. So let us have a look at the front end. So we have the first page here. We have added a video for the background. We have added three options in the navigation bar. We have added some headings, the description of our project, and we have added a pay button, uh, let's go button. And we have added a footer. Now let us move to the styling of this page. We have the funds. We have the uh, my settings for the whole page. We have added the formatting for the hero uh, class, and we have formatted the navigation bar as before. We have added a hover effect here. Then we have formatted the main class, and we have formatted the all the text that, that it contains, and we have formatted the button here. And we have also added the hover effect for this button. We have formatted the video as background, and we have. Uh, given it a property that if the size of the window changes the aspect ratio of the video will not change and we have formatted the footer in this and let us move to the next page the next page is the predictor page the predictor page contains the form and we have added some information and then we have added forms and we have added each of the parameters here we have eight parameters and we have added it and we have added the submit button then we have added a predictor window that lies below the predictor form the styling of the page is we have the funds and we have the settings like before and we have formatted the navigation bar here the hover effect is here then we have added all the text and formatted it then we have formatted the form so each of the aspects of the form and the contents of the form are separated uh, separately handled and we have formatted each of them then we have formatted the submit button here the button also has a hover effect. The predictor window is formatted like this and all the contents are formatted and we have formatted the footer button and the video is also handled like before. The third page is the about us page. We have the information of all of our developers. We have added the navigation bar and the video. We have three cards that contains the information. Each of the card has its own LinkedIn button which will take you to the LinkedIn profile of each of our developer and a footer we have added then the styling of this page goes like all the funds are here we have added the formatting for the navigation bar and the full window like before we have formatted the headings here and each of the cards are hand so are formatted separately and all the cards are given hover effect and here we formatted the photos, here we have formatted all the text in the cards and we have formatted each of the LinkedIn button in each of the cards separately and the buttons contain hover effect as well and we have formatted the footer and the video like before. So this was all about front end. Now let's see how our back end works. In this first we all imported all our required libraries as we are using Flask as our big frame, backend framework. So we first import the Flask and all the required modules. After that we loaded our ML model into our dictionary, into our app and after that we have created three routes. First route for welcome page, second route for predictor page and the last route for our about us page. In this we only rendered the pages on the welcome route and the about us route, the main logic was performed in the predictor route. In this, we have created first created all the columns, required columns list. After creating, we create a dictionary in which we feed our data. And after getting all the data from our form and in which the values are entered by the user, we all get and put them in the dictionary. After getting all the data, we convert that dictionary into a data frame here. And after converting it to a data frame, we push or apply, give it to the ML model to predict the required value, which is our rating for the restaurant based on the input entered by the user. After that, we have re rendered our page and with the output. So, this is the basic law complete logic how our backend works and how are we connect our ML model with our front end.